There is no reason why they should have his number. However, yes, wait, hello, wait, wait, there is one reason. Excuse me. I can think of one. To check up on you, Abby. No. A good cheat, a guy that will cheat on you, will cheat on you with two people. A woman that you will never ever meet and somebody you're extremely close with. I'm if I had all your friend's number now, how will you know? Do you go through my contacts? How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Agree or Disagree where we talk about love, family, relationship and all the weird things in between. In today's video, it's it's quite a simple one but it's also, a quite, it's also complicated because you know everybody's situation is different but like I said we only give our opinion based on our own real life experiences. So Aww. the first topic of today is simple. Should you introduce your friends to your partner friends. meaning you a woman should you introduce your female friends to your husband or your boyfriend or me should i introduce my male friends to my wife you guys know what is going on right now on the internet so we're not going to get too deep into it but basically a woman introduced this famous actor as a friend of hers to her husband and they were having a relationship behind her back and now the so-called friend is married to the husband as wife number two if you like where this video is going please like please subscribe if you enjoyed this video tell your friends about it i want to hear everything you guys have to say about this current topic in the comment section i read everything i converse with everybody and if you have any questions query or anything that you want us to address on the channel dm me at mokwa or you leave it in the comment section, I will get to it, I promise you. So what do you think? Should you introduce me to your friends? Yeah. I or feel like if someone is important to you, your inner circle should at least get to meet them. You're not worried that one of them might sneak into my DMs or something? No. Thing is, I feel like... Because it's not always on the man's side, right? I get no, like... No, it's not on the man's side. Yeah. I'm not blaming anybody. For, um, you asked me if I introduced my friends to you, and I said yes. Okay. Because I know the okay. kind of friends I have, first of mm, all. Okay. And then second, it's like, I know you, and I trust you. Because regardless of whatever I do, even if I don't introduce a girl to you, or my friend to you, you still go to go and find another Fuck. girl to cheat on with. So yeah. it doesn't matter whether I introduce anybody to you or not. If anybody that wants to be a dog will still be a dog. True. Do you get? Mm. But do you think you should introduce your male friends to me? I have no problem with that. I, I feel like, again, I know you, which is the most important factor. I trust you, yeah. which is more important than me trusting my friends in mm. the first place. Mm -hmm. because. Yeah, I might say it's not always on the man, but also you have to also also see that if you know that your friend is a total dog and you're bringing that friend around to your your significant other, and you know that Why your significant you other is weak. With that person. Sometimes you make excuses for people. Like, do you, you realize that that woman has been in the news for other things before? Similar, this messy woman. Right, she has been in the news for similar stuff, mm. and her friends were probably making excuses for her, right? Oh, like no, it's it's overblown. It's not the way it really is. No, and the then the, one, the way the woman wrote out the statement, it didn't show that they were close friends. Do you get people are just very easy to pass the friend title around. You're my friend. Then why did you friend. introduce her to your husband? Why were you always just bringing said, her to your house? She, said she brought her around during the 40th. Didn't you read it? I thing? read it, but she brought her around during the 40th birthday. That was when they introduced. Or oh, like, see, this is my husband. This is my friend. Do you understand? Mm. Then whatever rubbish wanted to happen continued without her own addition. Do you understand? Yeah. So. I really feel like it also has to do with the situation itself. Like, do you think this person you're introducing to your husband, to your home, is someone that is respecting of your decision to be with this man? Like, if, you, if, you, if you're with a friend that constantly makes fun of your marriage or... Of your relationship, you of your, your boyfriend. Relationship, your boyfriend, like, best believe they are trying to get that guy from you. My and not. Yeah, actually, true. No, it does how it is most times. Like, if they are making you feel like he's not good enough yeah. for you, 
with reasons that are not valid. If they have valid reasons, listen mm. to them. But reasons that are not valid, and he's making, they're making you try to, you know, you will uh, get the signs. Those yeah. kind of people are after your man. And if you bring them into your space in a man with a man that you don't trust, whether he's cheating on you with that your friend or with some random falake outside, <laughs> he will still <laughs> he's still cheating. He's still a cheater. A husband snatcher, but if the man does not want to be snatched, he won't be, he will be snatched. Not be snatched. The, guy is, the guy is a weak, weak. If that whole part of you know your friend or whoever you think you trust bringing down your relationship because. They really have eyes for what you oh, have. Yeah. It's such a relatable thing because basically they'll be like, I better leave that small boy alone. A yeah, small boy. Yeah, that small boy. Go and follow a person that will give you money or whatever. Meanwhile, this whole so called small boy is treating you like a whole full queen that you are. Then you leave that person and go and join with one toxic person, beta male or alpha male that will think like he's, he, he owns you. Meanwhile, that your friend, low key. They like once that romance that you're having with that so called small boy. It's just the only thing I wanted to point and out. But another thing I want to mention is the fact that your man should not be close with your girlfriend. At I don't all. want to hear any oh at all. This girl is so cool with me. She's my bestie. She can't do there's no reason why they should have his number. However, yes, wait, hello, wait, wait, there's hello, one reason. Excuse me. I can think of one. To check up on you, Abby? No. What is the reason? Like, for example, now, if I want to plan like some kind of birthday surprise for you, and I need to get in touch with your they friends. That's the only thing. Well, like, Instagram, people they know how to do their DMs. Media. See, it's not even... Let me tell you, take it from me. This one that is my husband is saying. <laughs> don't give, don't allow them have, they don't have any reason having that number. That but you would do Baby. I'm if I had all your friends' number now, how will you know? Do you go through my contacts? If you're always chatting with her, I'll know. If yeah, you're always okay. talking to her on the phone, I'll know. Well, you see, lie to me. I wouldn't. Me, I will not. But it's calm that I want to fuck I, I, your I'm friend real. I'm trying to explain to you that if they know, if it's in their eye that these people mm. are talking, like this girl will text your husband to say, oh, maybe he's dress he wore yesterday was nice his <laughs> cologne he sprayed was nice do you get what i'm saying oh, you're looking cute you, do you get like those kind of stupid comments it's like wh why the hell are you so close to my man like that do you understand and you know it and you're you're turning a blind eye to it that's mm -hmm. what i'm trying to say like in those situations if you have the number for good intentions it's a good thing but if you know and the girls who kind of tell like that's a huge red flag for me honestly to be honest, my own point of view is I don't see a problem introducing your friends to your significant other. But you have to know your, who you're with, first of all, and you have to know the kind of friends that you have. If the person that you're with, because that woman can't tell me that this mess is the first person, person that the man has yeah, cheated yeah. on her with. You can't tell me that. She must have had her suspicions at the very least. At the very least, you can't tell Women me that they know. They know. Do you right. understand? So if you know that that's the kind of you, you're married to a weak man that can't control himself. Would why would you bring women around him? That would disrespect your marriage vows. Do you understand? Why avoid that? For on, I mean, I'm not putting the blame on her, but I like at least her, you know that this man. Is At not least if the marriage is breaking without you saying, okay, this is the person that me introduced. Now me, so do you understand? That's a different thing, but like, it will still have, the guy will still have cheated. The guy he would have. Imagine he would have. saying that she's been sleeping with the since, person, since when she her own her baby was five, five months. months. That's so crazy. She now came on that video and was being very defensive. Do you understand? Interview. Like, hey, I didn't marry for money, hey, I married him for love. Like, can you please get the like we know the kind we're of not, we're not we know what you, you did. stop shouting at us and stop you know, trying to defend it's or so pretentious. explain yourself if you feel like you've done the right thing good enter your house with she, your as a, dead husband do you know what's crazy and don't explain anything to us you don't want to hear what's crazy but was the fact, the fact that, that she had to yeah she had to bring the guy on some kind of interview first of all we don't even know the guy the guy is not any she's the famous she's the more famous actress but the guy nobody knows him right she just brought him on that interview for for uh, control like basically she wanted to control the narrative like oh you know i didn't marry this guy for money i didn't break his marriage 
I'm only a second wife. I didn't really tell the man to do. That's why also. Well, that's why I'm also saying the guy is like really weak because why the hell would you not divorce your first wife? Why are you keeping the first wife just to put that in her face? Are you expecting them to coexist? I need to do an episode on polygamy and polyandry. I want to know how people that exist in a house with an a co-wife or a co-husband how the the I don't I'm going off topic, but I'm saying. The man, that man would have cheated no matter what. And I feel like that guy has cheated on that, his wife before. Definitely. He would have cheated no matter what. So me, I have no problem introducing my friends to my wife because I know, first of all, I know my brothers, I know my guys. That's the first thing. They will not cross that line. Yes. If they do, I will kill them. They know that already. They are dead. Secondly, I know my wife. Thing is... If you have somebody that you think you trust and the person is, is crossing that kind of line, you shouldn't be with the person. Yeah. Honestly, like, I'm, I know people be like, ah, people are still young in marriage. You and sure. No, we have morals. Yeah. Morals will last over time. A huge reason why we started, or I started this channel, besides showing this woman and all her craziness, is also... A point of emphasis for my children and for myself if in the next 5 10 15 years i fuck up when i go find this video come flame me and i'm a kind of person that holds myself accountable and, and accountable if if i'm going to fuck up i for don't start the fuck up already morals will last oh, over time you. Oh, you would have known seen something i wanted to say something we were talking about something yesterday and you're like huh I'm saying this thing, and every lady should have that in the back of their mind. A good cheat, a guy that will cheat on you, will cheat on you with two people. A woman that you will never ever meet, and somebody you're extremely close with. Because that your best friend knows you the same way the husband knows you. Two of them will be able to cheat around you, and you will not know. The both of you will be in the same house. You'll be kissing his wife and loving up on his wife. She'll be like, oh, God, when? But then if, as soon as the woman goes inside to bring water for the husband, two of them are making out on the couch. That is what I'm saying. So I watch. I agree, sir. I've seen it happen there. I'll be able to tell. You won't be able to tell. I'll be able to tell. How will you be able to tell? I'll be able to I'll sniff the bullshit in the air. You, you won't be able to. <sighs> It's you, not that's like why bullshit that's why as long see as long as just know the kind of people you have around yourself and also re, no matter how close you are to your friend reduce the amount of time yeah. she's he or yeah. she is around yeah. you people's space yeah. you guys there's no reason why they should always see a over familiarity breeds nonsense i'm telling you, you see that euphoria where the guy was don't watch euphoria by the way Please don't watch, watch it. It. It's a watch waste it. of rubbish. Watch You're it. better off watching porn. I've never seen so much dicks in my life. It's a yeah, ben, like shocking. Ah, the first I swear, I, nah. not, I couldn't. Euphoria is anyway, so bad. Anyway, that part where like that guy that if you watch Nathan Euphoria, Cassie. Eh? Nathan Cassie. No, if you watch Euphoria, the one that is trans. Mm, okay, Jules. When uh, Jules, when she was staying with um, that guy that used to do drugs ah, with, um, with Ru. With Ru. And they were trying to form best friends. Meanwhile, the guy liked Ru mm -hmm. first. But because him and Jules. Jules are spending more time, they are developing feelings for each other. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm mm -hmm. saying? If you let people in each other's space, like something will grow. There, there's something, something. It might be a mistake that is growing. It might be stupidity that is growing. It might be oh, my eye clear and I'm making this choice yeah. growing. But something will definitely grow. So things to do to help those kind of situations kind of cut down. Let reduce people, the amount of time you mm -hmm. spend with friends. Yeah, let the time you spend the most be with your significant other. I'm telling you, even my guys too. The amount of time I spend with them has gone down significantly. Like I, this estate that we're living in, I'm going to call some men out. You see them coming home by 11, 10, 12, 1 a.m. Why? And they're coming home alone, right? Yeah. You're not coming back with your wife like you guys went out. You went yeah. to go and chill with your guys in a bar. And then you come home late to your wife. Why? I feel like some people, at, uh, through the course of their life, 
they kind of lose their way with their lovers and it's like i'd rather be anywhere else than with you so i'm trying to cut down that's sad though yeah it's very sad that's sad very very sad i'm glad that we can go to the club on saturday and go to church on sunday yeah. like that's the kind of relationship i want not yeah. You are coming. I'm, what, what will I be? What, what will I be talking? See, because in that kind of environment, 11, 12, 10, 11, 12, God. you will put yourself in a situation where you're around girls that just want to be around you because of what they can get from you. Mm -hmm. And because of how well, easy so that transaction okay. sounds, you will just bang one random person. Mm -hmm. Moving on, um, this is a DM I got a few, about a week ago. Like I said, I read everything. What was happening? This idea my God about a week ago from uh, Fiber. Thank you so much. And I'm going to read the DM. I also put it on the screen so you read along. If, if I'm too slow, if, if I'm too fast. Hi, and also I wanted to ask a question based on your YouTube series. <clears throat> I was in a two-year beautiful relationship that ended wow. due to cheating. Oh, and I wanted to give the relationship a second chance after much consideration. Obviously, the freedom of choice is within my power. Basic summary, the man in question is textbook definition of a good man. In bracket, don't take it too literally. Bracket close. I don't understand that. You said textbook, textbook and they said don't take it, too. take it too literally. Okay. But, he, but he's great. It's been a year since the incident and it's difficult to navigate such a betrayal of trust. The reason for cheating here, I would say, is influence. In bracket again, but who knows, who truly knows, I don't believe there should ever be a reason, bracket close. My question is, how do you coach or encourage people who want to try again? Clearly, I understand this can be a case-to-case -case basis, but you can reach out to me for questions to clarify. Love the authenticity of your content. First of all, thank you. We do our best on this channel to give the best opinion slash advice. Don't go back. I was already saying that in my head. I was like, let me wait and hear what he said. Do not a go back. A cheat will always be a cheat. I'm a sorry cheat that you're already go. making a... The sad part is you're already making excuses for him. Yeah. Bad influence. What kind of influence? Well, yes, it's the influence of God. I don't understand. Influence of alcohol. Influence of the brain. I can be influence here. Influence of music. Influence Look, of influencer. I don't Who understand. Influencing him? Let me tell you something. A good man can be in a room full of bitches. I think this is a lyric from somebody, and not do anything. It's because not everybody that can be like that. Sir. That's what I'm saying. So. What, what, what do you mean influence? It's, it's not about influence. Why whatever did he cheat on he, you in the first place? Whatever he told you, yeah. Whatever he told you was the reason he lie. He just wanted to cheat. If I get Anybody drunk... that cheated wanted to cheat. If I get drunk, let me tell you something. And I know I'm getting to that point where I can't control myself. I remove myself from that situation. Everybody doesn't have self-control like you. It's not even about self-control. It's just self-respect. Why would I... You put think you put see I'm not accessible to everybody. I'm sorry, like wasn't there a point in your life where you were? Yeah. Probably that still, but even in that even in my so called whole phase, I still have standards. But everybody cannot be like you. You have to look at it from a grand scheme of things. We are just advising this our baby girl to not go back to this guy. He's going to keep cheating on you and making excuses. Okay, that one year that you guys are were apart. But was he saying it doesn't mean that he's terrible, the terrible person, eh? Wait, nah. She says it's one year since they broke up, uh, and they dated for two years. Why would he be celibate? So was he celibate? <laughs> <laughs> then the guy is really not sorry, though. He's for the streets. If he was sorry, then he would have been like, he would have locked up for you. Celibate too. People do stuff even in three weeks break. One year is a long time there. You have to be kind to people, but you know, before I would. What I'm trying to say, you ask us whether I should get back to him or coaching you, don't get back to him. Because at the end it of the day... textbook good man. I, that's the one I don't, I don't understand. What, yeah. he's kind to you? Is he nice to you? Yeah. What Does he give you stuff? Yeah. What's the textbook? I don't understand what the textbook good man is. 
because somebody can be good to their spouse and be evil to, to other, other people. people. So what's the textbook good man? She I don't understand. Not to take it too literally, so yeah, that's very confusing. But what I'm going to say, my dear sister. The rest of them are. If you decide to give him a chance, be guarded. If he cheats on you again, know that you entered it into your two full eyes. And your two full chest. Twice shy, twice don't shy. let don't let don't let it shock you. Like <gasps> oh my god, you did it again. No. People and don't really ready, change. Yeah, be ready to be cheated on if you want to be. And that's a sad way to be. And the thing is that he might not even physically like plow somebody. But like he's having all these raunchy text messages and shit with other people. Because there are some people that really got off on that stuff, but they get off on that stuff. Mm -hmm. Speaking from experience, that was my university life. I didn't have to cheat on my girlfriend, but I had a shit ton of messages with other girls, and we were just basically sexting and all of that. Keep your eye open for it, that's all I'm saying. Morals last forever. Me, I fucked up when I was younger. The older I got, the more I knew that, no, there are certain things you only do when you're a kid. When you're young. Like you said, it's it's just all about her her values at the end of the day. If she's, if you are willing to be cheated on, if you are okay with it, then <laughs> if you are ahead. willing to be yeah. cheated on. Yeah, because it will happen. And he might There's a high yeah, probability of it happening. There's something there's something that I found out like uh, a guy that has that you've caught cheating before will not trust you again. It's not about him trying to make you forgive him. Mm. He won't trust you again because he feels like you will go and cheat because that is what he mm. would do if he found yeah. you cheating. Yeah, Re reverse Do you cheating. understand? If, so he see, like, if he just sees you like saying hi to you, another guy, guy, he becomes like, <gasps> she's cheating on yeah. me too. So if you are ready to deal with that bullshit, plus him, Probably cheating. Is that, eh, he, she's probably cheating on me. Let me just. And he will get very good at it. He'll, he'll get better at hiding. Better hiding. So that influence uh, that you're yeah. giving him excuse for. He will get better at hiding the cheating. I actually wanted to say something, but I feel like there are different degrees of cheating. It takes a lot, in my, in my experience, for a guy to chat up a girl, make plans, bring her over to the house, probably buy food or whatever. Then f It takes a while. Like, it takes effort. Instead of just like maybe you met somebody in the club and you guys just made out or you you were on Tinder and you have raunchy messages. Tinder swindler. <laughs> talk about that. I'll talk about the other girl that her boyfriend went. She saw her boyfriend on Tinder now. The guy she wanted to marry. No, we should talk about Tinder swindler and lessons, money lessons young girls should learn from that no, Tinder please. swindler. Yes. Don't One, give a man your money. <laughs> For whatever reason. Wow, that's so sexist. The, eh? That is so sexist. Baby, did you see those girls? Why in the world am I sending you forty thousand dollars? Hundred thousand for what? Baby, his life was in his oh, enemies. He should die. All those enemies should die. <laughs> his enemies are after him. We are debating. <laughs> see. We are debating. So basically, if a guy cheated on you like sexually and not just maybe texting or maybe he made out with some girl. Or the girl sent him, or the whole sending you. So I feel like that's what different. What do you mean by sexual? Because all cheating is. No, like actually piping somebody down. That's more than any other. I feel like it's. Or they're all cheating. I'm not saying they're not cheating, but it's different. There are different degrees to it. <sighs> if the guy, if all the guy does is like chat and exchange news and shit, that can that can be redeemable. It can be redeemable, yeah, but actually having said, no, sometimes some people never get to that point. It can just be, you've not communicated to somebody you never ended up with. I bet it's a lie. You've thought that, what I'm you say, see, Bible, when you look at a woman lustfully, you have committed I'm adultery. thinking I'm Superman, am I Superman? No. Baby, that's please, not what that's you know. That's all When you... What I'm saying is, what I am saying is, don't go back to him, but if you do, just know that you're setting yourself up. If the guy proves to himself to be completely changed 360, you're one of the lucky few. I, however, I believe that 
people that do that, they don't really change. That's all I'm going to say. Because the Baby. problem is from their core. It's not about... It's, all, it's their morals. It's always and like... That influence that you're talking about is not... Whatever he told you, somebody made him do it. Nobody... Nobody made him do you. nothing. Because let me tell you something. You can, I can be friends with a porn star and not want to have sex. That's just what it is. So be friends with a porn star. I know a few. Anyway, thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you really enjoyed this episode, please like, please subscribe. Or give me. You just dropped a bomb. If you want to me. see more of this girl of mine, or if you want to see only me because I'm tired. She doesn't see, she, I'm tired. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves, everybody. Bye, guys. Mwah. I'm not thinking about the way you keep my world from spinning I'm just thinking about your eyes Just don't know if I've been faking or pretending But I know I never felt so damn alive I don't know if I believe the information given That there is someone by your side Coming back inside my body for a second There is no way that I'm never gonna try It looks so bad Unprovoked. That's why I be slapping my nose to unprovoke. God, have you seen the eye? Mm hmm. Try to get to that point. And the fact that he actually, I'm recording. You, 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 you be doing this and I'll be cutting. Ah. Do I'll put this thing on my wrist. I need to start doing uh, a grill. It's a grill, man. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't need me anymore. You won't see me on the next episode. Bye. Wow. You just said you don't need me anymore. Oh, you're making me forget my point. I'm sorry. I'm going to sit quiet.